Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a Python bot with Pebblehost. So first, we're going to need to make sure that our server is ready for a Python bot. So to do this, come down to language here, go to this menu, go to bot hosting on the left, and then select Python bot. Once you've done that, go ahead and click save. And now you can restart your server. So now our language is set up. We're quickly just going to set up discord.py. So go to the left of the Python package manager. And here we're simply going to type on the first line, discord.py. Then go ahead and click save. And then there we go. So now go to the top link of the description. And it should take you to your Discord developer portal. And this is where we're going to create our bot. So first of all, click new application. Then we're going to make a name for it. And for this, I'm just going to call it Pebble Python, just for this video. But of course, you can name yours whatever you want. Then go ahead and agree to the Discord terms of service and click create. So now we have our bot here. So of course, if you want to change the name as a description or change the app icon, then go ahead and do that. I have simply just added the Pebblehost logo as our app icon. So now we can go to the left and click on bot. And then once we're here, we're going to click add bot. And then click yes, do it. If you have 2FA, you may have to enter a 2FA code. So now our bot has been created. So now what you want to do is click view token and then you'll see your discord bot token. Now this should not be shared with anybody. So just make sure that you are the only person who knows this. Once you've got your token, make sure you go to your bot's files and that you put the token in. So here I have to put the token, we'll simply paste it in and then there we go. And then just make sure that you save. So of course, if your bot requires any of these things, go ahead and turn them on. And mine actually does. So I've turned the privilege gateway intents on and now I can go ahead and save. So now that our application is set up, we're going to go ahead and upload the bot's files. So simply go to the left to the file manager and in here you can already find a few things. So we're simply going to click upload, file and then we're going to upload our bot's file. You may have noticed we already had a bot.py previously, but when you upload a file with the same name, it simply overwrites it. So this current one we see is the one that we uploaded. So now our bot has been uploaded to our server. So now simply go back and make sure that your start file is the correct one. So of course, if your bot file was actually called something different, for example, if it was called start.py, then you'd simply put that in the start file. But mine was just kept as bot.py. So I'll put that in and click save. So now I'll go ahead and start your server. And now our bot will come online. However, we still need to add it to our server. So let's go ahead and generate an invite link. So go back to your application and then on the left, go to OAuth2. Then come down to the URL generator. And in here, we're then gonna select bot. In here, you can then select the permissions you need. I want my bot to only be able to do stuff with text. So I'm gonna select all of the text permissions. So once you've selected your permissions, go ahead and click copy on the generated URL at the bottom. Once you've done that, go ahead and go to that link. And it should take you to a page just like this one. Then select your server, mine being my Python Discord bot server, and then click continue. It will then show the permissions you selected and then click authorize. Complete the capture and now it has been authorized. So if you go back to check your server, you can see that our bot has joined the server and it's also online. So my bot has one simple functionality and it's if I do dollar hello, the bot will reply with hello. So that's how you can set up your very own Python bot with Pebblehost. Hopefully this video was helpful and if it was, definitely leave a like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you next time.